What are the best strategies to teach reading? There are many. What follows is a look at two practices used in my school. We only teach grades pre-K through 5, unfortunately, so these resources correspond accordingly. First, comprehension. In other words, how do we teach readers to understand what they read and apply that knowledge? And a quick side note, text-based collaborations, another best practice, is included in this area. While these are the resources in our curriculum, we introduce reading with Lucy Calkins. Her lessons show kids how to preview text, make, make predictions, use pictures and words to make inferences, notice features about characters, and connect themes to, per to their personal life. In higher grades, we use literature circles. Students are grouped based on their level and given a corresponding book. Each student has a specific job within the group, and these jobs rotate. Jobs include a summarizer, artist, a discussion director, word wizard, and by keeping kids accountable, students can guide themselves through a discussion of the text with each other. This is where text-based collaborations would come into play. Another tool used is daily reading comprehension, which teaches kids how to read and recognize fundamental elements in stories such as main character, setting, sequence, and so on. So how are teachers held accountable? Well, we have lesson plans that are uploaded and checked weekly. Um, the students' reading scores are assessed and tracked through DRA, and that progress is measured from the beginning of the year to the end. Lastly, my school takes the Stanford Achievement Test, and students are given a written and oral reading passage that includes comprehension questions, and classroom score, scores can indicate student mastery. The only professional development at my school was at the beginning of the year. We participated in a reader's writer's workshop. I think more quality trainings would be good, but there's a lack of funding, direction, and knowledge of what is out there. So this is an area my school can grow in. The Literacy Lab at my school is a huge book room of leveled readers that includes a lesson plan and a teacher guide for each set of books. The idea is that teachers pull books for their small groups and can use the attached materials to engage high-level thinking. The lessons are structured in this way, build background, read, and respond. There's also a writing activity where kids think beyond the text. Additionally, we have classroom libraries and the school library. There's also a book fair that comes twice a year, which includes a lot of resources. Some ideas to include into our curriculum could be introducing more reader's theater, where students practice and act out a text. In acting, students inevitably acquire another level of comprehension. We already read in groups between grades, but organizing a more structured discussion could be a powerful tool. Lastly, I wonder if we give kids an outlet to tell more stories, if they will be better understand story structure and lead to better comprehension when reading. The second practice that we're gonna talk about is interdisciplinary teaching, which is something that I love because engaging kids on a topic through multiple avenues and mediums can be very powerful. How do we do this at my school? Well, right now we're finishing up the science fair project, which includes science, reading, uh, uh, math. We also have flexible Fridays, which is an open time to engage on project-based learning every week. Examples include research projects, game creation, science projects. WordlyWise is a vocabulary program that integrates social study stories and has kids engage in writing and comprehension practice. And lastly, we have a poetry night, which involves a musical element of kids working with words and performing. How are teachers held accountable for interdisciplinary teaching? Mainly through lesson plans again, but also through the products of project-based learning, such as the science fair or research projects. My school often has teachers participate in the weekly training series at the Museum of Natural Science. Um, the topics 
covered um, are a wide range and always cross over many disciplines. For example, there was a Lego training that included a lot of building art and math. And recently, I went to an animal training that included science, history, art, and more. Teachers um, need to communicate successfully uh, to teach across disciplines. So that is one resource that we use is teacher communication. Um, additionally, we use Lucy Calkins, as mentioned prior, Wordly Wise, and the Eureka and Singapore math programs we use um, also are cross-curricular. When it comes to expanding cross-curricular learning, there are many disciplines that work together well. For example, art includes a lot of math, PE can be structured around scientific learning of the body, music can be used in every subject. So to help implement, vertical cadres would be beneficial for our teaching communication. In other words, working beyond just one team's grade level and connecting with other grades can be important to get everyone on the same page to share more resources. And that is how my school uses some of the best practices for reading. Thank you.